Hi, today is Tuesday, April uh, 11th, 2017. It's Holy Week, and this is a Sweet Speaks. And I think we should address the topic of Islamophobia. What is that? Um, and I tried to look into this. Because I used to think that Islamophobia was a word created by the mullahs of Iran in, well, I guess sometime after the Islamic revolution in Islam. Uh, and I might, it seems like I was a little misinformed. Uh, according to the Wikipedia article on Islamophobia, and uh, let me say this, when it comes to politically sensitive topics, you can't just trust Wikipedia. But maybe this fact is straight at least, even though, well, I'll, I'll come to it. I'll get to it. In 1918, uh, there was a biography written by the so-called Prophet Muhammad. It was written by the painter Alphonse Etienne uh, Diné and the Alger Algerian intellectual Sliman Ben Ibrahim. And that was the first time that the word Islamophobia was mentioned. Of course it was mentioned in French, Islamophobie or something like that. But this word was popularized during the 1980s and 1990s. Uh, so I guess uh, I guess I'm not I wasn't too far off when I thought that uh, the mullahs of Iran had something to do with it. I also believe, but I haven't uh, really found this out. But I also believe that the Saudis have been in involved in this. However, when the UN has passed re resolutions or have gotten resolutions that would uh, ban criticism of religion it always tends to come from Islamic countries. And what they really want is that you to ban criticism of Islam, of course. Uh, uh, so what could we say about this? What is Islamophobia? Is it something real even? Uh, I mean, a phobia means uh, that you have an unreasonable fear of something. For instance, uh, if I would be afraid of dragons, uh, to use an argument that one of my favorite YouTubers do sometimes. Uh, Asset, yeah. Shout out to Asset, by the way. Uh, if I would be afraid of dragons, if I would think that when I take my daily inspirational walk, which I try to do every day, that I, I might get uh, eaten by a dragon, that would be a phobia. Because there are no dragons. Uh, so to be afraid of dragons is an unreasonable fear. But when it comes to Islam, well, what happened in Egypt a few days ago? Uh, on uh, last Sunday, churches attacked. I think there were two attacks. Lots of people killed. People hurt. Because they went to church on Palm Sunday in Egypt. And who were they attacked by? Are radical Muslims. How do you become a radical Muslim? By reading the Quran, by reading the Hadiths, by studying the life of the so-called Prophet Muhammad. He wasn't a prophet. What prof Tell me what his prophecy was. I would really like to know that. He was no prophet. He was a lot of things, but he wasn't a prophet. That's why I, why I keep on calling him the so-called prophet. And uh, that's how you become a radical Muslim? By taking the Islamic faith seriously. Or, well, faith and faith. Uh, I'd rather think it's an ideology dressed up as a religion. So in Egypt, they... So in Egypt, uh, Christians are attacked by Muslims, by followers of Islam. And try being a Christian in Pakistan. That is not a funny life. Christians in Pakistan are harassed, they are persecuted, and they even end up in jail and on death row for blasphemy, for telling the truth. And uh, so, is it unreasonable to fear Islam? Take the Stockholm attack. That was clearly a jihadist. Uh, that was the sudden jihad syndrome. It wasn't a sudden truck syndrome, like the Swedish politician, politicians seem to think. It was sudden jihad syndrome, caused by studying Islam. 
so. There is no such thing as Islamophobia because a phobia is an irrational fear. Fearing Islam is rational. But if Islamophobia would really be, well, if that would be a valid expression, well, in that case, I'm also I, I also have communismophobia and Naziphobia, and I'm going to do something that I haven't done yet on this channel, as far as I can remember. I am going to I am going to mention Hitler, because Adolf Hitler's mistake was that he called himself Führer, leader. He should have called himself prophet. And we, when he wrote Mein Kampf, my struggle, he should have said that it was uh, a holy, a holy scripture, and that he, that he got uh, revelations from the archangel Gabriel. He should have, he should have dressed up uh, national socialism uh, as a religion. Uh, and by the way, did you know that Hitler preferred Islam over Christianity because he considered Christianity a as a weak Jewish sect. It wasn't that weak as he thought. Uh, you had the confessing church in Germany that went to the death to, to fight against him and his evil regime. You had the church of Norway that uh, refused to cooperate with the Nazi occupation of Norway. Well, of course, some priests did, but they, they, they were thrown out of the church of Norway. The Church of Norway today is pretty liberal, but back then they were really, yeah, they really did what they had to do. And did you know that the Nazis cooperated with the with the with the with the Muslims of uh, of the Holy Land to fight the Jews? Did you know there were imams among those who fought for Hitler? They didn't. Didn't they teach you that in school? Well, they didn't teach me that in school. I had to learn it myself. So I'm not surprised if you haven't heard about this. Well, the point is, Islamophobia is a stupid word. And it's not only a stupid word, it's a word that is directly, it's a contradiction in, uh, the whole word is a contradiction. Contradiction in terms. Because a phobia is an irrational fear. Dragonphobia is irrational. But being afraid of Islam, is rational. So please stop using that word. Uh, you can talk about Arab phobia if you want to, or Persia phobia, or uh, Somali phobia, or Pakistani phobia, or something like that. If someone would start saying that he or she is afraid of Somalis for being Somalis, not, not for being followers of Islam, which is a completely different question. If I would be afraid of Somalis, even those who have left Islam, and some of them have become Christians, and some have just left Islam and become atheists, or, well, I don't know if any, uh, any Somalis have turned to other religions, I don't know, maybe. But anyway, my point is that uh, it is rational to fear Islam. However, I mean, as a Christian, I fear the one who can, who can harm my soul more than the one who can harm my body. But the point here is, it's just stupid to talk about Islamophobia. So please, please stop. It's not helping anyone. It's just a way to corrupt the entire debate. And that's what I have to say about this right now. I would like to thank the people who are supporting this channel. Through prayers, through PayPal, through Patreon. You know who you are, and I appreciate uh, your help very much. And if you like this channel, please subscribe uh, so you don't miss anything. And if you got something to say, feel free to comment. If you like this video, please like it. And uh, I would also like, like for you to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and whatever social media you can share it on. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, and I want your help with that. And that is also very appreciated. And of course, I also encourage you to to support this channel. And I will include the necessary information in the box below. This is a Sweet Speaks. Have a nice day.